In this video, I'm going to be looking at uh, the radio button list. The radio, the radio button list is uh, just like the radio button that we look at in the last video, but the difference is that um, it works similar to the list. Uh, in remember when we used the drop down list in the previous videos? So that is the uh, the I will tell you another difference. Another difference is that. Uh, the radio button list can be bound to data source. For example, if I select choose data source here, you can see I have uh, a lot of uh, data source to use. Let me show you. I can use an access, say for example, I have a uh, access database with a lot of options, like 500 options. <laughs> you know, because if you, say for example, you want to create the um, a radio button list for like 100 items and everything is already in the database it will be very difficult for you to start you know hand coding all this uh, into the date into the uh, radio button like the last one that we did so you have to drag each uh, radio button to the form configure the text configure the auto post back feature configure the group so that would be very difficult if you have like so now you can bound it to a different data source like sitemap like an XML file so um, let me get out of here also you don't have you can you can't only uh, bind it to the data source you can also input the data by hand for example I can click on add data and I can for example like I was doing here and I can say uh, I agree I agree and um, also I can add another one that says I do not agree and um, the third one is neither it's neither so uh, now you can rearrange them like this you know clicking on the arrow and uh, you can just okay that now we have a radio button list uh, we can enable auto post back for the three of them at the same time remember in the last video when you we use the single radio button we have to configure the auto auto post back for each of the radio button but here we can uh, enable the post back for the three of them all at the same time so let's and by default now everything belongs to the same group so um, they are now mutually exclusive and they have the auto post back I can, as you can see so um, now we can uh, configure we can modify the um, let's look at what we can modify here yeah, that's the data binding properties you can modify the cell spacing cell padding and you know all the uh, look and feel of it um now if we go to the event area now we can modify the uh selected index change just like we did for the so we can say if radio button list one dot selected value equals I agree uh, what do you what does we want something to happen else if uh, radio button one that selected value if the selected value if equals um, I do not agree Remember the text that you write here must match <laughs> what you what you've written. So what do you want to happen if that is true? Else if radio button one that select a value equals to remember what we wrote was neither for the last option don't ever always make sure that <laughs> what you write here is 
is the same otherwise it's not going to work for example if I should change this now to capital N because I did not write capital N here let me show you what I'm trying to say because here you see what I do not the N here is not capital so it must match is what I write because it's the value it's going to check to make sure it is the value so uh, it must always match so let's go back there um, so let me make sure that that one is correct okay uh, what do we want to happen okay so now let's make something happen let's drag a label a label here and uh, the text on the label will be nothing at runtime so okay let's make the text is choose option choose option choose an option an option right so so when we if we go back to now we can make we can say here label one the text equals you agreed you get the point here says the text equals you did not agree and so label one the text equals <laughs> make up your mind my friend Right, so uh, let's put that to test. I believe it's easier to work with uh, radio button list, but the problem is now it says choose an option. So if I choose that, it says you agreed. If I select this, you did not agree. And if I say that, make up your mind, my friend. So you get the point. Uh, the advantage of uh, radio button list is you can bind it to the database. The disadvantage is you cannot modify the look and feel of each of the radio button item but can you um i'm have to look on on that one but uh, as you can see it's actually very easy because if you have to work with one let's say 50 radio button items it's very difficult for you to configure each of the um you know just like I mentioned before it's difficult to configure each of the auto post back feature or the group name so that takes a lot of time so I always prefer to use the radio button list anytime I want to use the radio button so I hope uh, you've learned something new here maybe not <laughs> but um, yes uh, that's how you use the radio button list thank you